Martin, uh, nice to meet you. Thank um, you very much. Yeah, we just briefly spoke about it. Do you have an explanation why the region you're from in the Netherlands produces or has so much metal fans or, or bands? Why it's more alive there, do you think? Well, not a real explanation, but I think it, first it has to do with the fact that there's, there's, a very, there's a very tight kind of metal scene in uh, well, the region where I'm from, the east, like especially around Enschede, Hengelo and Almelo, and next to that also more up north, like uh, cities like Zwolle or Kampen. Mm -hmm. may sound strange because they're pretty... Uh, Christian, religious Yeah, Christian area. reform, yeah, more or less that way. But maybe that's why, you know, as a kind of a uh, uh, rebellion or something, but... I think it's first that, because if you have like a ground to play in, in, in small venues and you can attend a club because as many people just, you know, they just want to have a good time and, and, and have a beer. Yeah, and then later on maybe some go, hey, you know, I can play drums, or another goes, I can play guitar. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, next, next to that, uh, it's, it's, um, it's the east of the Netherlands and it's Rotterdam. I mean, Rotterdam also has a, had a shitload of bands, but that's explainable because it's a big harbor city with a lot of industry. And that's the kind of thing, I think that, that yeah, that's something where metal feeds on. Mm -hmm. and, and for example, a city as Amsterdam doesn't have a scene at all. Well, they do have a small bar, but not really... Scattered. Yeah, not really, really like... Uh, yeah, we were discussing lately just for the fun of it, like which bands come from Amsterdam. And it was, we couldn't think of one particularly influence, influencing band from the Netherlands that came from Amsterdam, which is strange for like a big town. I think, yeah, maybe some... Yeah, from the from the Gooi area, I think. But do you think the um, yeah Enschede? Can you describe a little bit how it was when when, when you started Asphyx? Was it an ideal birthplace for for a band like Asphyx? Um, yeah, it was because it was. I mean, of course, I'm I'm from a band that that's the, uh, before Asphyx. I played in a band at Pestelers that came from Enschede too. That was based there, and um, there was a venue called the Tuck, Still is, but the old Tuck. Um, they already had a really a lot of metal shows there. Well, not just only metal, but really good shows in general. Mm -hmm. And there was always a crowd. So there was always, yeah, you have always a potential to play for. And in the beginning, of course, there were not people, many people showing up. But in the end, when we, because we rehearsed with Pestilence in Attack, mm -hmm. and the way to pay them was to play at least one show a year. And in the beginning, there was no one. But in the end, we rammed the place. So, you know, for them, it was profitable as well. So that was nice. So there was already a, a, a ground uh, for a band as Asphyx to start. And Bob is, of course, we, you know, I know him a very long time, so when I left Pestilence, he called me immediately and said, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know. Do you, you, you grew up there also, in, a, in that area? Or? Uh, I was born in Uden, in uh, North Brabant, as mm -hmm. we say. And my dad moved from the army base there to uh, the army base Twente. So I, yeah, I, I say always something, like I'm, a, I'm a born Brabanter, I'm a, uh, yeah, and race race tucker, so, okay. as I say it. But, can you but it's hard to translate in English. Yeah, well, the, the people have to look it up. Uh, All right. Really. But is there one maybe one show that you saw as a teenager or before maybe you were maybe practicing or playing in your own band that that really struck you and and drew you to? Yeah, this of course, stuff? first Kiss show that I ever saw as a boy. You know, I mean, Kiss when was the band this? when it's, that was when I was ten years old, seventy six. You know, I, I wasn't allowed to go there, of course. But you know, if you have someone that takes you, my dad did. So. Uh, that was really great, yeah. Your, your dad actually brought you in, in contact no, with No, 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 it was just, uh, was just a crazy guy, like, you know, screaming, and he just like, okay, shut the fuck up, we're gonna go there. He hated it, but uh, it's cool. So that was, I mean, Kiss was a band that really impressed me because of, it was very loud, uh, it was very, there was an incredible show. So as a, you know, you get impressed by, as a kid by a band like that. Mm -hmm. Of course, afterwards, they came with these big hits and I hated it. So they're like, no, everybody's like disco dancing on Kiss now, blah. Thank but yeah, that was, that, was, that was actually the band that, um, um, yeah, I was miming in front of the mirror and, and you know, stuff like that. So. What did your dad actually say about your music that you played later on? He hated it. Yeah. And he didn't really support me in doing so, but, you know, because dads want you to finish a decent education at school and, you know, become whatever, doctor, lawyer or like a respectable citizen. Was that a route for you? Did you think that he had in mind? That kind of education? I think, yeah, I think. Because, I, I mean, I'm not a stupid guy, so, it, you know, I, if I would have done it, you know, I could have, I could have made university, but, you know, you roll into rock and roll shit, and then you go, like, oh, you're not going to school anymore because you lay in bed with a hangover. Was there ever a point that you maybe thought of, of, of 
going there, or or did you cut the ropes uh, early on? I, I, yeah, I cut it early on because as soon as I left the house, I, actually I tried to start a study, but uh, Phil, Phil Mills, what kind of study? Yeah. Well, because I didn't make it to the university, of course, you know, I tried to become uh, like a social worker, but it was too much social worker for me, you know, the guys with the woolen socks and the sandals, I'm like, hey, yeah, that's scary. So I didn't go anymore and uh, that was the time when I started experimenting with drugs and yeah, well, then you lose it, you know, of course.